the, but they're regarded as super good luck. Uh -huh. Since I got these three arowanas, yeah, I've had nothing but good luck. <laughs> I gotta get some. Since I, I got it. these three arowanas, yeah, nothing but good things have happened. Well, what do they say when the clouds are overhead? Buy that's, marijuana. That's the Brendan Schaub and Mark Harley drama has just taken a wild turn recently since Mark Harley went viral after his soon to be ex-wife released a lot of screenshots, text messages uh, and videos trying to expose him as a domestic abuser. Now, we don't usually cover topics like these, but this whole situation with his wife and Mark is getting out of control and the entire subreddit, Mark, the entire fighter and the kid subreddit has been going wild for the last couple of days. Now, keep in mind that just recently, Mark Harley had been welcomed back into the subreddit after apologizing for going to war with them, defending Brennan Schaub. And now he is back to being universally disliked, which is insane. He's in front of my car. He's touching my car now. He's picking up my car. He's picking up my car. As you can see, he's picking up my car. He doesn't let me go. You know he hit it. He doesn't let me go. He doesn't let me the fuck go. He doesn't let me go. He's attacking me. He's attacking me. He's attacking me. Ah! He just did this. We'll try to stay as unbiased as possible since we don't have both sides of the story yet, but it's not looking good for Mark. That was the first video that went viral, getting posted on many subreddits like the r slash public freakout with over 5 million members and every other uh, subreddit shared it as well. Now, you can see why, because it's not every day that you see a huge man lion deadlifting a car which I think it looked like a Mustang, so it's not a light car. And just to give you some context, Brendan Shop's ex-employee, Mark Harley, had been married for a while, and just recently his wife decided to come out and expose him on her Instagram story, trying to prove that she was in an abusive relationship or marriage with Mark, and that he actually cheated on her. Now, I won't show you all of the text messages and screenshots and audios because it's a lot, uh, but if you do want to dive into the whole drama, I'll leave you her Instagram handle and you can uh, see it on her profile. I think it is still pinned as her, you know, story on her Instagram st on, her, on her Instagram profile. So you can check it out. Um, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who's been reaching out to me. I've gotten so much love and support. Or at the end of the day, I me finding this out has given me the opportunity to leave something that I should have left two months after I got married. There is more to come. This, like I said, has been a nightmare that has been going on for almost eight years. I think finally finding the proof on Thursday was a blessing in disguise because this would have gone on for months, for more months, more gaslighting, more everything. And um, yeah, because you know, he was supposed to come back on Sunday from his mom's where he did what he's doing right now meeting with his girlfriend now this was pretty wild but according to mark's wife he had been previously arrested and had to take an online video conference uh, class for domestic abuse i believe and while he was taking that class somebody recognized him and i think called him out which led him to leave the call I guess Brendan Schaub somehow found out about this and was freaking out, thinking that it was going, going to look bad on him. And that's why uh, Mark Harley pushed his wife to make that video to basically show every, everyone that everything was fine and no, nothing was going to get out of control. Now, here's what's wild to me. Even after Mark Harley went on and trashed Brendan Schaub on multiple platforms online, Brendan Schaub stayed quiet and didn't go for the easiest layup of all time because he could have easily exposed Mark for a lot of stuff but decided not to. Instead, he stayed quiet and hasn't said anything up until recently when he was on the George Jenko podcast and actually said something about firing Mark Harley. I don't want to say he's a bad person. I don't know who you're talking about, but same thing. I've given people some opportunities then where it goes south for whatever reason. They take no ownership of it, and then it's like, oh, he's a bad guy. I'm like, what? I hope, are you kidding me? All the shit I did for you? And then they paint you as the villain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, oh, yeah. And then that, you realize, I would, like, would want to kill myself over that, bro. I don't How do care. you forget you shouldn't a though. thousand things that you I would do? George, you shouldn't, though, because but, you know you know you're a good person. Look at all these people. Like, yeah. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> you know you're a good person, so I don't care. 
It's like, yep, yeah, all right, that's your narrative, and you want to run with that. It's like, it's not go that I do care. That. This is exactly why you're not here anymore. It's just that you were my brother, you were my sister, you were my cousin in my eyes. So it's like, in my mind, it's like, bro, like it hurts. I, the, but they're regarded as super good luck, really, really good luck. They yes. bring good fortune. Uh -huh. Since I got these three arowanas, yeah, I've had nothing but good luck. <laughs> I gotta get some. Since I, I got these three arowanas, yeah, nothing. But good things have happened. Well, what do they say when the clouds are overhead? Buy that's, marijuana. That's 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 part X, like that that Stutz guy says, and then but the the sun doesn't seem like it's there, but it'll it's there. You, you just got to wait it. till the I clouds part. Yeah, and I, so I remember when I was buying it, the guy told me about all this. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then I get them, and they grow an inch, two inch a month, dude. So they get huge. So your luck keeps growing. It's nuts, man. <laughs> And funny enough, as I was finishing this video, I decided to click on the Fighter and the Kids newest episode to see if they would bring up Mark Hartley or the situation. And interestingly enough, the first thing that Brandon Schaub said was that he has been having great luck and that good things have been happening to him. Now, I think we can all assume that he was talking about the Mark Hartley situation because you better believe that he is fully aware of everything that is going on for sure. And some people are criticizing the wife for coming out and making this public, but to be fair, Mark does have a huge platform compared to her and he could have easily spun the narrative one way if he wanted to like he did with the Brendan Schaub uh, drama by going on different podcasts. No, no, please I, forgive me. I will never forgive see. you. Please. Forgive you for what? Telling the truth? No, please, Mark. Mark, please don't take No, forget. Ah! Yeah, yeah. I, I got the entire exchange on video. You hit me. No, I didn't. Mark. You were on top of me, Mark. and I went like that. You just hit me in the chin. But no, please. I didn't, Luana. Please, no, I didn't. Okay, Luana, I have it all on video, you so they're going to watch chin. that. Oh we're going Mark. to watch that. This other video was also posted on the public freakout subreddit, which attempts to show the other side of the story, I guess. This whole situation is not very clear because it's, I, it, there's no clear right or wrong because the damage has been done and it's already a horrible look for Mark. Now, when it comes to the wife, I haven't seen anything yet that makes me think that she could be on the wrong, but I could be wrong. And at the end of the day, there is a chance that Mark Hartley is innocent. There's a chance that he is completely guilty. Or there's a chance that they are, they are both in a in a toxic relationship. And also, I remember back then, Mark Hartley would argue for hours with the haters, whether it was on, on his Instagram page or on the subreddit. And he would actually write long paragraphs trying to like psychoanalyze the you know the people that were commenting and trying to prove why he was wrong and they were why he was right and they were wrong. So I could imagine him pulling that kind of stuff, you know, while fighting with his wife intolerable you're intolerable and then you call Let me a little bitch and you're a little bitch too and then you threaten me and then in getting say, a divorce here's what's on my mind i can kick you the fuck out of my life whenever i want mm -hmm. you need to start remembering that a little bit more so you're threatening me you're basically no, i'm saying me. here's what could happen that's mm -hmm. not a threat that's a promise they're asking you what, uh, to help me out that's a promise did you just hit me? Are you fucking insane? Do you just, whatever the fuck I want. You just told me you would throw me out a window? Yeah. You want to throw me out a window? Yeah, I do. I want to kick you the out a window. Uh -huh. Just to remind you, uh -huh. you're nothing to me. Regardless, we have already talked about the entire Brendan Schaub and Mark Harley drama in case you want to get uh, up to date with it. But uh, we've mentioned before how prior to Mark Harley getting fired, you know, he was the most loyal Brendan Schaub defender. And as soon as he got fired, he he completely turned on Shab and went on a whole media tour uh, talking trash about him. And back then, the Fighter and the Kid subreddit was divided about this because a lot of people were welcoming him as a hero for, you know, exposing Brendan Shab, And a lot of other people still disliked him. Well, now he is universally disliked again. I haven't seen Mark Harley respond at all, but it will be interesting to see what he has to say. I was also kind of hoping that Brendan Shab would address it on the podcast. But I guess he doesn't have to no more because Mark Harley self-destroyed and in a way uh, did Brendan Schaub a huge favor. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. Dislike if you didn't like the video. But that is all we have for today. See ya.